Hey everybody, welcome to Singles Focus Pickleball. My name is Taylor Chase Wise, and on this channel, a lot of times we're doing uh, singles focus content based on strategies and tips and tricks with your strokes and looking at pro points. But today I want to get a little more into the equipment side. Uh, this is some videos that I've been wanting to do uh, a lot with grips and paddles and um, also doing kind of like bag reviews and that kind of thing. But what we're going to do today is I'm changing my grip up a little bit. I've been using the Vulcan Max Cool Grip which is a little bit more absorbent, a little more cloth-like kind of material. It feels really great. I really like it. I'll probably go back to it. But what I want to try is this uh, Max Trend grip they sent me. It's a little more tacky. Uh, it's not one of those like super tacky kind of gross grips that sticks to you. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of those. If you are, they probably have something for you. But um, this one we're going to try out today. Uh, and I figured why not make a little video of just how to how to replace an overgrip because it's important for people to know that they don't have to replace their whole big uh, cushioned grip off there and that you can put little overgrips on and off uh, during matches or in tournaments and that way you can keep it fresh without having to replace the whole thing. So it's a really big part of the game uh, just keeping your equipment up to date and feeling good so that you can play your best. It's really important to keep your paddle feeling really comfortable to you. Uh, if you're not feeling the grip, if it doesn't feel good to you, then you're not going to be focused on just your shot selection or just making the right shot. So let's get into it and uh, look how to put on a, one of these grips. We're starting here with the Vulcan V730 Power Paddle. Um, I've really enjoyed hitting with this so far, but we're going to fast forward a little bit here of just taking the grip off, um, getting rid of the old one. I haven't used it very long, but I decided that I wanted to try the other uh, grip that I had as well. So we're going to try this out. I'm checking here, making sure, checking the design that I want. They have several different designs that all look good. So here's what I'm going with. It's the white splatter uh, Vulcan Max Trend light tack and light cushion there that you saw. And here I'm just kind of taking off that finishing tape and unrolling it. And I'm getting off the protective film that comes on all of them. That just helps in shipping and stuff to help it stay fresh and clean from anything, any of the debris. Flipping it over and I'm finding the edge that has this little sticky part here. And you can see a little closer here um, showing that that is where we're going to start our uh, gripping. And we always start at the bottom of the handle right here and that sticky part sticks on. Now for this way is for a right hander, but many people don't know that if you're left handed, you can go the other way. And that just helps to make the grip feel a little better to you. But since we're right handed, we're going to start here. And what I'm showing there is right at the beginning, it's difficult because you have to pull quite a bit of pressure um, there and that can be difficult. But as you pull a little more, um, then you once you get up into the actual shaft of the paddle there that you can kind of see where it's a little flatter you don't have to pull as tight and i'm just overlapping there about an eighth of an inch ish uh over top all the way up until we get to the end and these grips come tapered on both ends which is really nice you don't have to do any cutting you don't have to do anything like that and it also comes with the finishing tape here um it's a nice wide tape which i really like because it kind of gets the whole edge of it and it makes it a lot easier. So um, on the finishing tape, you want to start right at the end where you finished your grip and then pull some tension to make sure that it stays nice and tight on there. And you can see me pulling. Uh, I even stretch the finishing tape just a little bit as I finish. So that's a pretty good way to grip your paddle. Here you can see I've got the little, there's a little rubber end piece that goes down at the end and that helps keep the finishing tape stuck as well. Uh, it kind of covers it all up and makes it more comfortable so that your finger has something a little rubbery instead of that finish. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this video uh, helped you to learn how to put on a grip a little easier, a little faster, and maybe some of the little tips and tricks that can help you uh, if you're if you're having to put it on during a tournament or something like that and it's really good to know like like I showed there's two different ways to put it on for left and right handers that a lot of people don't know and some people care some people don't but it's a, it's good to experiment and see what's the most comfortable for you that you can work on and thanks to Vulcan uh, Advanced Logic Pickleball they're the sponsor here on the channel now and I just really appreciate them sending me these grips uh, they're excellent grips I've been super happy with them uh, I did get a chance to get out and play with the uh, 730 over here power um, love the paddle I'm gonna be doing a review on that soon unfortunately all my um, 
gameplay data got corrupted, so I'm going to have to reshoot a lot of the uh, the hitting session. But I have a good idea of what what kind of review I'm going to do, so I'm really excited about that. That's going to be coming up, and also, like I said uh, before, we're going to be doing um, like a bag review of what to bring to a tournament, how to keep your bag packed. Uh, well and, and what to keep with you to always be prepared. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. If you're new here, go down and don't forget to subscribe. We do a lot of these kind of videos if you're interested in anything. Singles focus pickleball. Uh, we're going to be here. So thanks for watching.